Okay, guys. Today I will try to solve the valid number. This problem is valid if a given string can be interpreted as a decimal number. Let's see the example. Zero is true, and the y space zero point one y space is also true. So we should uh we should uh, remove the leading and ending y spaces, and A B C the first, uh obviously, and the one y space A is false, obviously. Two E ten. What does this mean? It means two to z ten. This e is an exponent, so it's true. Um, the negative nineteen e three is true, and one e is false because uh, uh, after e it has no number. E three is false because they have no preceding number before e, and the six e negative one is is true. And uh, 99e 2.8 is false because uh, the number uh, following e should be uh, should be the uh, should not have the um, dot. So okay, let's do it. Uh, obviously, we need some size to indicate the e the Number the dot uh, appearance, and first do not forget to uh, remove the leading and ending y space, and we use the three flag. The first e c will be first, and the boolean we also use number c. The first will be false, and the boolean dot c will be false. We do not need a sign c because we can easily check if it is at the first place or it uh, is after the e, because it, if it are uh, in the number, it should uh, only following the e. Okay, let's do it. For int i equal to zero, i less than uh, s dot length i plus plus, and we get the char will be s char at uh, i. Okay, first if uh, this is a digit. Uh, we just uh, let uh, number c equal to true, and else if this c equal to the e, uh, know that there can only be one e in the number. So if uh, e already c, or we haven't seen any number, we return false. Else we let e c equal to true, and uh, we let the number c equal to first because we need we still need the numbers following the e. And else, if the c if the c equal to a dot, in what case it will be invalid? That is, if the e already c. Because as I said before, uh, there cannot be dot after the e. Because there should be the power, so it should be an uh, integer. If uh, e is c and uh, mm, if e is c, um, I think uh, yeah. If the number haven't been c, it should also ah uh, yeah. No, I can cannot be point one. That should be valid. So if the dot already c. It should return false because there cannot be two point in one number. Else we will let dot c equal to true. And else if the c equal to the sign, negative and the positive, there can be two valid situation if i equal to zero, which means the it's the leading sign. Others the uh S char at i minus one equal to e that will be valid. So if not this two case, if i not equal to zero, and uh previous one not equal to e, which means we should return false. Else we let uh yeah. Else, mm. 
are return force. Um, so we also need numbers after this size. Okay, it's okay. So else, if it's none of this uh, uh, case, that we just return force, and uh, out of the loop we should uh, return number if it's C. So let's see. Um, is first check if the character if yes number C, and if the E. If E already C or number I haven't C so return false and then make E C equal to true and number C equal to false. And the C equal to dot uh, or if dot already C and the E already C so return false. And the dot C equal to true. And the else uh, if no uh, the return false da, 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 okay. I think it's correct. Okay, thank you for watching. Happy coding.